Daily Dao. It's Wednesday morning. Hope you're having fine throughout the weekdays. Hopefully we could finish the rest of the weekdays. Great. 221. Non-duality. Do not contemplate as a merely activity. Be void. Contemplating void. Once one understands that the ultimate nature of this existence is a void, well, Big Bang, it was a void, nothing existed, one understands that to be void is the only true mode of meditation. Notice that void is not the object of meditation to pair meditator and object creates a dualistic relationship between self and environment that actually leads to one astray. Dualism, it's quite, to me it's quite dangerous. Basically, basic concept is a zero or one, yes or no right or wrong so that means we're living we're living in the world only like two side existing that's scary isn't it in meditation we are searching for unity we need something that takes us out of the normal dualistic modes that are the origins of all our difficulties. Therefore, the only true meditation is one that does not put us into a relationship of viewer and object. Any object, no matter how holy, still reinforce the illusion that there is a reality outside of ourselves. What we are trying to gain here is a true interior view. There is no difference between our inner and outer realities. If you keep thinking about it, that there is something else beyond me or beyond myself, and also it's not reachable, it's pretty daunting, isn't it? All pe people saying there's there's a beyond that we cannot even imagine. Well, sometimes it could work as a hope. Sometimes it could work as disappointment, frustration. So I'd rather have it not having anything beyond something. It's just one. The ultimate meditation is the realization that we ourselves are empty of distinction that our sense of identity is only the result of dualistic clinging although with that we should understand that there is really nothing to contemplate nothing to think about so if you are able to think about and cultivate yourself inner and it eventually it's going to emit toward the outside so that's one thing you don't really have inner one outer one so now i know the social the current society it's depending on outer you not inner you because it cannot be seen which is pretty toxic so i believe throughout the meditation you'll be able to You'll be able to release the stress that you are getting from outer world to see your outside of yourself. So once you're gone, the inner yourself is going to embrace all of you. So you don't have to put something, you and something else. You are just you. Thank you. We have a great rest of the Wednesday. See you tomorrow on Thursday. Bye.